Hey guys, my mic broke so I have to use TTS for this. In this video I will show you how to create a slander meme on PC. The video editing software I will use is the best free one I know since I don't got any money lol. The name is Shotcut. But first, we gotta make a completely transparent picture for the text we are gonna add. For this I'm gonna use GIMP. Links to both programs are in the description. Let's go. First you are gonna go to File, and New. For the window that pops up you will use the resolution you want your video to be in, and make sure that the background is set to transparent. Now you will select anything you can draw with. Then choose a place and put one pixel of color there. After you have done that we are gonna export the picture here. Now we are gonna open Shotcut. Select the folder you want the project to be saved in and give the video file we are gonna make a name and hit go. Find the first clip you want to use and drag it into the timeline. Then add a second and third video track. After that also add a audio track. Grab the music you want to use for the video and grab it into the audio track. After that get a short white screen video and put it into track 2 also grab the transparent image and put it into track 3. Make sure that the music starts at second 0. Do you see this flat mountain in the sounds there? It's where the main part of the video starts. We want to align the first clip with that. BTW, if you can't see that, click on the 3 minus signs. The option should be called something like audio waveform. After that you should be able to see it. Sorry for the German language in GIMP and Shotcut. Let's continue. As you can hear this clip has audio in it. To remove it, right click on the clip and select separate audio. Now you just delete the sounds and the clip is muted. Alternatively you can also add a filter to the clip that mutes it. We will come to filters shortly. Let's align the three video tracks with the start of the main part of the song. The part before that is just to intro you could say. Now select track 2, hit the plus sign I fail to click and select size and position. If you don't see that there, click on video and search off the list of filter, then click the star when you found it to favorite it. Set the Y value to 270. I'm too lazy to do the exact math but this will create the white bar the text will be on. Under that select the third option that should be called stretch. Now select track 3 and again add a position and size filter. Locate the Y size value again but this time set it to 850. Again. I'm too lazy to do the math. Select stretch again and hold click on the ball in the middle of the clip and try to align it with the bottom of the video. If you're finish, look at the X values for position and size and set the X size how it were before and the X position to zero. For every caption above a clip you will need it to add a text filter. Select the transparent image and add a text filter to it. For this you can just copy the Y size setting from track 2. We are gonna set the text color to black and then you can select your font. I normally use Arial because it's commonly used and looks good. From here you can type what you want your clip to say. Shotcut does not automatically format the text for you so you have to make every new line yourself. When a line gets too long, you move some of the words one line up. Looks better this way. You can copy paste clips by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Here I will copy the transparent image what will also copy the filters. As you can see here, it sometimes snaps to something and then continues going forward after a bit. In this case it snaps to the clip of the clapping man. Use this to time the clip and text change perfectly. When you move your cursor to the beginning or end of a clip, or the image in this case, you can hold left click and drag the length of how long the transparent image with the text on it will be visible. 
As you can see, the text filter was copied. Pretend like this is a new clip and we want to add text to it. And that's it. Add new clips to the timeline, copy paste the white screen video over the full length of the video, and also copy paste the transparent image to add new text to a new clip. Now I'm gonna add the Spongebob dance meme as the intro like I did for my first Discord slander video and the video would be finished when you added all your clips and the text for it you want for your video. Let's hear it. Oh, seems like this clip is a bit too long and we want it shorter. Let's shorten the clip and the text for it. We are also gonna select all the neighbor clips by clicking one clip and then clicking the other clips while holding control. This allows us to select multiple things and move them at the same time. Let's say we got two more things here. We are just gonna do the same and drag them. Fun fact, you can select one clip and then go to the end and shift click the clip that is the last clip you want to select. It will select everything in the track that was between your first and last selection. This only works for one track trough so you would have to control click the rest how far I know. Let's see our result. Looks good. For these wondering why the I use a transparent image and why the preview is so laggy, I use the transparent image to make the text look good. I'm unsure why but in my experience, the text looks really bad when just added to the white screen video. That the preview is laggy is a downside of shortcut. It seems nobody knows why it lags but you can always use a media player to view a clip and remember how exactly it looks like when back in shortcut. I hope you found this video helpful. Here are some more tips if you care, use control and mouse wheel to zoom in and out in the timeline. This snapping what I talked about also works for suddenly ending sound. You can use S to cut a clip into two pieces and when pressing X, it will not only get deleted, but it will also delete the empty space it would leave behind. But don't use X, it makes everything in the track move forward and so breaks the sync you made for the clips and text. Use spacebar to play at the point where your timeline corset is at. When pressing Ctrl V it will paste it at the space where your timeline corset is. And don't forget you can use Ctrl Z to undo things you have done. Have a nice day. Super Idol Dicharo, Domain Me, Dead Tan by Chung for the Ambo.